tonight. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in week five on EA Sports. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. a career high and run Coming off a career high in run yards last year. Here's Aaron Jones. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Bridgewater. And he can't find it. After one. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point. A fight for it, and this is caught. Oh, it's Garoppolo. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. His first catch there. Good for 10 yards and a first down. And Notre Dame seems to be turning into tight end U. And they just seem to turn out those reliable chain-moving pass catchers. And Mayer, one of the best in that line. Las Vegas, fortunate to get him in round two and plug him in as a starter. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Garoppolo now. And that is caught. Touchdown. Up with them. They have either with size. Strength. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it was finished off by a Michael Mayer touchdown grab. On as the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're doing. He'll let this go for Adams. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. 
So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we send you to Orlando to check in, which message received here. No need to wait. We're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Here comes the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. Well, the first half very even. I mean, really in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches. Start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. Well, the first half very even. I mean, really in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches in NFL. All the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Here's Jacobs. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Jacobs will cross the line. He's in. To throw is Garoppolo. He'll swing that out wide to Jacobs. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing. And they got it out to him on the left side. And he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. Jacobs going to try the middle. And he'll take it into the end. Aaron Jones. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Bridgewater now from the 50. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. In motion left goes Watson. And now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Jones. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Here's Bridgewater. Stay, and he will not make it back to the Here's Bridgewater. Stay, and he will not make it back to the line. Scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Multiple players getting home for the one-yard sack. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Desperation time, fourth down, Bridgewater. Try to take this home, they'll run. And Jacobs, I don't think he's going to get there, no. It appears they're going to mark him short of the first.
On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he'll wind up being knocked back to the three-yard line. So the Packers down by two touchdowns, under a minute 20 to go. Their offense has struggled all night, and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out. Bridgewater's throw pulled in by Melton, but only able to muster a gain up to the eight-yard line. Able to find Melton. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. First down, Bridgewater. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And kickoff will not be returned, as that will be a touchback. Well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game. Bottom line, may not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. Here's the second year back, Pierre Strong. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, this defense for the Raiders, they played extremely well last week in that win over Green Bay. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. 48 yards. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They run again with Harris. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you, and instinctively you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. Harris running straight ahead. And this time they were... The Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023. The former Patriot, former 49er, Jimmy Garoppolo. I like this guy. And the reason I do, he tends to stay on an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. He will manage the game the way it needs to be managed. Take what the defense gives him. And then he can strike at times. Had a touchdown pass. Yes, he had an interception last week. But he found a way for his team to win. Now the NFL's leading rusher a season ago, Josh Jacobs. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. A check on Jacobs from a week ago. North of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he gets this all the way down to the Patriots' 32. The game here on third down. Garoppolo. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. Second quarter from Vegas. The homestanding Raiders with a football here. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Jacobs again. And not a whole lot there as he'll get him down at about the two. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. They'll run with Jacobs, and he's in! Second quarter from Vegas, the homestanding Raiders with a football here. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Jacobs again, and not a whole lot there as he'll get him down at about the two. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. 
They'll run with Jacobs. And he's in. Touchdown. Hooray. Josh Jacobs with his sixth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Raiders are an extra point away from drawing level. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. They go with Jacobs. That's his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Raiders' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, Offensive lineman still want. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Now he's loose at the 40, and he'll get it all the way down. Oh. To position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback, you have a much better opportunity. 67 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first down. On first down, Garoppolo. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. They go power. This is Johnson, the fullback. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Again, they keep it on the ground, and again, it's Johnson. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. So that drive spanned five plays. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. On is the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Pats at the line ready to go. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. Now Jones, right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line, throwing again on second down. Jones, and the Raiders use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Back to throw. Jones. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. 
and a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. They'll look to throw again. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to be dropped. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just... And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Matt Judon in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Carlson able to put this one through to the 37. Gain of nine. So, Charles, you look at this offense, and what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0, then lost 5-6 of six and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. A quick throw, but incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake a block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. High throw, but he makes the catch. Looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. Jacob's going to try the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field with his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. And the Raiders are going to have a first and goal as some good running there gets him down to about the two-yard line. Knock it on the door. Jacobs, and he'll take it into the side of two minutes remaining. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. Here comes second down. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Jones throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Here's Jones. And this is caught by Parker. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. <laughs> to throw is Jones. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. A seven-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. This is first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. 
And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. Here comes second down. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Jones throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. And he can't get a throw. Come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Here's first and ten. Jones. And that's into the hands of Gesicki. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in a yard. Now Jones. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. They didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And Jacobs is going to have a Raiders first down as he'll get this up to the 39. To throw is Garoppolo. Looking deep for Adams. It's caught at the 10. Second and eight coming up. Pretty much unreal, not just in terms of yardage, Charles, but also throw in the three touchdowns as well. When you put the whole package together, I can make you a pretty good guarantee right now. <laughs> He's going to see that? a few more people in the box every time he lines up. Yeah, I don't think that the defense has any choice. They've got to stop him. Can't let a repeat performance like that. Agreed. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that but this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten you got to be careful you can't take this one too lightly you're exactly right about that and by rights this should be a cakewalk almost a week off let the starters run up the score in the first half backups get to play in the second but you and i both know that funny things sometimes happen when you think this way so it's incumbent upon the starters to really play well to make it and he's in touchdown but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. They'll try and run for it. And he is in. And he is in. Touchdown, Raider. Josh Jacobs halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Raiders' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Carlson up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. 
So this drive spans seven plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. And this is picked up by the Bears. And the return will stop right around the 25. But he has been a workhorse for them. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. On second down, here's Garoppolo. Now he'll escape to his left. Just a crazy throw there, and it's intercepted. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up. First and goal at the five. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here to throw his fields. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up. Oh, it's caught by Komet. Now the Bears gonna call the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. A shotgun snap, Fields. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Now the Bears gonna use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now a first down throw, Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there is around, but not before getting it inside the 35. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there is first down. Drive keeps moving. Always disappointing when you miss a field goal, but when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them when you can. Garoppolo, a final shot here before half. He'll let this go for Adams. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one hand. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the, the second half upon us sooner than we bargained for. Week seven, second half, let's do it. Ready for the second half. 14 to three, our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. And he will not bring it out, it's a touchback. To the Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defensive pass. 19. 75 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. A good position to be in here, second and inches. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Here we go. 
Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. White will score. Touchdowns off the clock here already as they come up second down. Jacobs going to try the middle. Well, the ball near inches from the white line on third and goal. Jacobs will take this one in for a Vegas.